You're brainstorming about the self. What is this self? We have a flip chart here and we will try to obtain as many, as much as we can from this uh, brainstorming. Then I will present uh, the theory and not only the theory but also the uh, some uh, results of research in the field. I will present you also the scale, the identity structures inventory uh, and we will start a discussion about academic self because uh, I think we are all interested in this area. Then again an exercise. Uh, I propose you uh, a practical exercise. Uh, I will uh, propose you to divide in groups of two or three persons, maybe three, because I see that uh, there are enough persons inside. If they will stay until then. Um, then uh, one person from each group will present uh, back their ideas from the uh, group working, review and praise positive aspects. Then if we will have the time, I will propose you to uh, discuss some motivational posters related to the self. Discussions, evaluations at the end. So, what do you say? Do you agree with this structure? Yeah. Will you participate? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's start with the exercise, who am I? This is an old test, an old exercise. I think it appeared uh, around the 60s. Uh, and it was uh, proposed as a very short test, having on a piece of paper, uh, in the head of the, the sheet of paper, uh, the, uh, the question, who am I? And then the, the subjects uh, have to respond in 20 answers, not 15, but because we don't have enough time we will uh, make it with 15 answers uh, and they think uh, they, they could answer what they think about themselves so I will try to make it on the flip chart as an example and then we will make it together So, you should write, in a limited time, 15 answers in 10 minutes to these questions. Who am I? Whatever you think, whatever you want. But you have to write 15 answers in 10 minutes. Then we will discuss about this. Are you ready? Go.
able to answer the questions by MI in 20 different ways. He found that the responses could be divided into two major groups. These were social roles, external or object objective aspects of oneself, such as son, teacher, friend, and personality traits, internal or affective aspects of oneself, such as gregarious, impatient, impatient humorous. I wrote down some uh, things, some examples. I don't know if I will answer uh, the real test in this way, but usually people start with their names, their roles. According to uh, this research, you could, uh, to these uh, results from the research, you could identify if you have this kind of answers. Do you have this kind of answers, uh, like uh, name or social role uh, in the beginning? Some of you, most of you, yes, some of you no. Then, do you have uh, some uh, personality traits somewhere after that? So, this could be a potential answer to these questions. Are we our names? Our, our social roles? Because this is what the, the results show. Or at least uh, this suggests, this is what they suggest. The list of answers to the question, who am I, probably includes examples of each of the following four types of responses. Physical description, description social roles, we are all social beings whose behavior is shaped to some extent by the roles we play. Such roles as student, housewife or member of the football team not only help others to recognize us, but also help us to know what is expected of us in various situations. Personal traits, of course, these are uh, a third dimension of our self-description. Existential statements, abstract one. I think some of you, maybe only few, have uh, on the papers this kind of statements. This can range from I am a child of the universe to I am a human being to I am a spiritual being and so on. Do we have such kind of... A man. A man. A man? <laughs> like this? Is that in that category? Uh, in the existentials, no. Uh, I think it's uh, mostly the social role. Because uh, we act as men, yeah. and the other gender act like women. Never. Never, huh? No, <laughs> I don't know. In that case, <laughs> so. I think uh, in this case the person make a confusion in his mind, in her or his mind, because uh, he or her, she identifies with something what she likes, not with something what she or he is. I like this, but I am not this or that. I like these glasses. But no, I, I like, like color. Okay, could you say I'm uh, red? I'm blue? <laughs> okay, and you have a black coat. Okay, so uh, this could be a very good exercise with uh, some of your students. With all of your students. Uh, I use this exercise with the students and usually I scare them, telling them that they will fall the exam if they will not give me the 20s in 10 minutes. So they 
I made a, I actually I made an experiment. Um, one year I didn't told, uh, tell them from the beginning that uh, they would fall this and actually I don't do this but and uh, I let them the first uh, I don't know five or six minutes to answer and they were like this. And then I told them, you will fall the exam in the summer. <laughs> so, uh, uh, maybe the tests uh, should be... Yes? If the question of if you answer my exam, tell me I'm a loving parent. Is that about personality or about social problems? It's uh, both. both. Yes, yes. There are uh, answers we cannot categorize strictly into okay. single role because parent and loving. Now this is a social role for sure, for sure. Um, the first thing from my experience in the counseling and therapy, the first thing. Uh, which came in mind to the, the client, to the patient or client, uh, is that uh, they have, they want to underline, to highlight their social role and uh, their uh, gender by this social role. Please develop the question because. Why only social role? I don't know. It's their choice. I can choose to answer anything. I can choose to answer I'm a light bulb. <laughs> Today. <laughs> so, everyone could choose. Please. Um, just a comment. 